What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a very special review, a figure review that I have been waiting on for a very long time now, man. We finally have it in our hands, the Mattel Creations exclusive American Nightmare Cody Rhodes WWE Ultimate Action Figure. Now this is one that I have been waiting on for a very long time, man, and I've seen some rumblings online. I was not the very first to get this figure, however, we did pick this up from Mattel Creations. Mattel Creations and Mattel was kind enough to send this over to us, and I'm very appreciative of this. I'm sending this over to review for you guys, and I cannot wait to dive into it. This is one of my most anticipated figures of the year. Even over on Bretto Live's channel, he asked me at the WrestleMania Superstore what figure I was most looking forward to or the one that I'm most hyped for, and it was the Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. So this is a very special review, and it would not be possible without Mattel. However, man, it is time to dive into this thing. Now, one thing that is very cool about this figure is that it did come in this really cool shipping container, and it said the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes on it. It said, let's create what's next, Mattel. Mattel Creation Shipper Box. And then on the top, it even said Q Dramatic Box Opening Music. So it was a really cool Easter egg there. And when you open that Shipper Box, this is the box that's inside. And on this box, it is your typical kind of Ultimate Edition style. Or not typical, I'd say. But it is kind of like those retro four packs. You have a picture of Cody's face here. You have Ultimate Edition down here. On the side, you do get Cody there. The beautiful soul and man. WWE logo there. Down here, it has like the burns. And then it says Cody Rhodes with his logo. On the back, you get the WWE logo. Mattel Creation's there. And then on the top, it does say, Welcome Back, Cody. So then, when you open this box, you can retrieve out the real box, which is this piece here, which we've all seen. We saw this on social media for a while. So we got to see this. You guys can see his face there. And then he's got his logo kind of burned over it with the skull logo and everything like that. And it's a very cool shape. And not only is it a cool shape, like, look at the shape of this box, man. It's massive, too. Here's my hand in the front. And here it is up next to a standard WWE Elite. So you have the regular Elite Series 90. And you guys can see just how wide and how tall this box is. Really cool box. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm a fan of packaging, so this works for me. Nonetheless, zooming in here, you guys can see it says the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations Exclusive down here. And of course, we do have Logan Paul coming later this year, which is also in this style packaging, Ultimate Edition Logan Paul. If you spin this thing around, you guys will see on the back, we do have a really nice product shot of the figure on the turnbuckle. You got a bio read. You have a picture of Cody walking down the entrance ramp, and you have his name, of course. A little bit of stats info, and an Ultimate Edition logo. And then on the top, you do get the little Easter egg saying that does say the Prodigal Son returns right there in quotations. But one thing that's really awesome about this packaging as well is that you don't have to tear it open. However, I do want to mention this before we open the packaging up. The box that came in the shipper actually had a piece of tape that sealed it here. So if you guys do not want to take it out, you have a bunch of different options to pose this guy around with. You can put him in this packaging, you can have him out of the packaging, obviously, or you can keep him sealed up in this shipper style box or in this display bookshelf style box because it does come with a piece of tape that's taped up right here and I obviously cut it so that is something to note but then another really awesome thing about this packaging is up here there's velcro and you can open this up and reveal the action figure with its own personal entrance ramp right here so you have the figure in the box going all the way down and then you point down and it has its own little entrance way right here with the American Nightmare logo you have the American flag and the skull logo of Cody's that's on his neck is actually burnt out right there and you guys can see the edges christening and all that different stuff right there. Very, very sweet. I actually love this packaging. I think it looks amazing. And I have not removed him from his box. This is the only shot I've seen of the figure. So I took this out. I made a TikTok and a little video about it. But now that we have cracked him out, man, let's go ahead and put Cody Rhodes on the rotating base. I'm going to crack out his accessories. Down here, it does say additional accessories included. So I'm guessing if you want to get those out, you're going to have to pull this out, pull this out. We're going to do all those things. But let's take a look at Cody Rhodes on his rotating base and check out what he's all about. So here is the Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations exclusive Cody Rhodes action figure out of the packaging. Popped on a different head sculpt, played around with it, man, and I got to say, I honestly feel like this one might have been rushed out the door. And I don't know that for a fact, you know, it, it, I don't remember the exact timeline between the time that he came back at WrestleMania and the time we saw this figure up for pre-order. And it was a limited run, you know, you had like a week or two to back it, and once you backed it, you know, there it was, and it's coming later on this year. We should be getting it in the next one to two months. I'd assume. This isn't an early sample. This is the finished product from what I've been told. And so what you see is what you get here. And of course, we're going to dive into the accessories. We're going to dive into all the beautiful things about the figure. But we're also going to take a look at all the things that I dislike about this figure and leave it up to you guys. Obviously, this isn't going to be up for pre-order anymore. This isn't going to be something you could grab. You either backed it or you didn't. And if you didn't back it, you got to get it on the aftermarket. With those things being said, man, let's dive into Cody Rhodes' accessories and then we'll dive into Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare himself. Alright, man, so diving into the Ultimate Edition Cody 
Cody Rhodes accessories. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel like we get a whole lot here. You do get the jacket, which I do enjoy. We'll get into that, of course. But three interchangeable head sculpts. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's on par with the rest of our Ultimate Editions. I guess I'm just used to, like, championships coming with them. But we didn't get a championship with AJ Styles. We didn't get a championship with Seth Rollins. So you do get the cloth goods in there, which is always important to me. And I, I guarantee you, a lot of people were like, oh, I don't like the cloth. I don't like that they mixed together, like, with molds and with cloth. And I understand what you're saying, but I guess they just wanted to go a different route than the Supreme since the Supreme already existed. And then they can release their own version later down the line that will be a molded jacket, very similar to the Supreme with, uh, you know, custom sleeves or sculpted sleeves. And I would imagine that figure is probably already in the works, probably for next year or something like that. So we will see about that. However, we do have the jacket here. And I like the jacket, man. I I'll be honest with you. I do like the jacket. I do think it looks a bit flat at certain angles, and I don't think it's as well sized as the version we saw at the Hogan Beach shop. Like, I do like it, though. And I like the little rubber pieces over here. It gives it a little bit more detail, gives it a little bit more sculpt, but, I mean, it does look like a rain jacket at certain at certain angles, but I think that it's cool. It can pose around. You don't have to worry about being stiff, but I will take this every single day over an Edge coat from Elite Series 102 over an Undertaker coat where they're just stiff as hell straight jacket. I'll take this every single day of the week over that, and I don't mind them going this route for now, and I know we're going to get one at a later date, so I guess you just either have to wait about that, or you can just use your Supreme for now. You know what I'm kind of interested in just to see if the Supreme Arms will plug into an Ultimate. I know it won't. I just, I kind of, we might try that in this video. I'm not even going to lie to you. I might just try it just to see what the hell happens. But here's the jacket. I like the jacket. You do have some cool sculpts here, but I understand the crowd that does not like the cloth for this style of jacket, but much better than a straight jacket rubber coat. And then we do have our interchangeable head sculpts. Now, one thing that's interesting about this, not only is this the Elite 101 head sculpt, it does still have the tattoos on the damn jawline. I hate that design choice, man. I, I covered that in my Elite 101 review. I'm not going to rehash it, but it looks dumb. I don't like it because when you articulate the neck, we'll show it off. We'll show off why it's dumb. But this is the same sculpt that is coming on the Defining Moments, but I even posted about it on Instagram. The Defining Moments has slightly different paint apps and deco that makes this head sculpt actually really damn good. It's just painted differently. So they give him lighter eyes. They change up a couple things. Even though it's the same sculpt, it looks incredibly different. And the Defining Moments head sculpt is just perfect. I wish that's what this looked like, but unfortunately it is a rehash of the Elite 101 without the Defining Moments touch-ups. And then we have this new smiling head sculpt, which also has the dumb crowns on the jawline. But this has really good lightness to Cody Rhodes. We already knew we were getting this head sculpt back at Hogan's Beach Shop. I like this one a hell of a lot, man. This is really nice. I think the lightness is uncanny. Very similar lightness to the last one with the, you know, the Defining Moments. And I can't wait to get more of those figures and pop that on the Ultimates, the Elites, and stuff like that. Because those, they're about to be at a point where the, the Cody Rhodes Elites are probably going to be unbelievable. Notice I said Elites. And then, of course, we are comparing it to the Unrivaled or the Unmatched matched AEW head sculpt here. It's, on the, it's the Unrivaled 4 head sculpt for Cody Rhodes, and I think they both look like him in a lot of ways. This is more of like a laughing, smiling head sculpt, and this is more of just like a grin. I think they both look a hell of a lot like Cody, which is kind of wild, but I like both of these head sculpts. I guess you can just choose which one you like better. And then if you get into the Supreme, I think that this one really doesn't... I, I never liked the Supreme head sculpts outside of the Screaming one. I just never thought it really looked like Cody, so I don't really care for the Supreme head sculpt. I think that the Ultimate is better than the Supreme as far as the smiling head sculpt goes, but this one right here that they put on the Unrivaled figure can absolutely rival this one for sure. It can it can compete with it. And then another head sculpt that Jazzwares also did was the Screaming Expression. You have this one here from Mattel, which looks awesome, except for the dumb crowns on the jawline. Jesus in heaven. But the sculpt looks really good here. I actually like this one a lot. I don't know if I like this one more or the Smiling one. I think they both have a lot of lightness to Cody Rhodes, so I guess it's, you know, it's kind of up to you. But I like the sculpt here. I'm sure we'll see this down the road sometime. But I like this a hell of a lot. I think it gets, I think it does look like a Screaming Cody, and that's really all you can ask for. However, we've also seen some screaming expressions from Jazzwares, and see, this is the Supreme head sculpt. I just think they dropped the ball on the Supreme head sculpts for Cody. I think the Mattel one looks better here as well, but this one is my favorite Supreme head sculpt, but Jazzwares also did a screaming Cody figure, and we got this on the TNT ringside exclusive Cody, and this one's probably better as in terms of likeness. I think this one does look better than this one overall. This one might look a hair bit real, more realistic, but I think I like the likeness more on the, on, the, uh, on the ringside exclusive over here. Yeah, I think this one looks more like Cody. So, again, man, you can just interchange these head sculpts on the figure. You know, you, you just choose whatever head sculpt you want to do, mod it to fit it, and then you can choose which likeness and which one you like. So, that, that's what's really awesome about all these different Cody figures we have.
have. Now, we also get his signature weight belt, and it is not accurate. They do this with Hulk Hogan all the damn time. It says Nightmare on there, which looks good, but they always, they, they're not going to fix this, at least at any time soon. I think Bill even came out on a live stream and said that it's just not priority right now to make a new weight belt. And so, until that day, I mean, I don't really know what to say, man. We're not going to get one. It, it's just the way it is. But, again, you can put the Jazzwares ones on there. We got this exact weight belt with the unrivaled Cody's and different Cody's, so you can easily just put one of those on there. Sucks that you have to do that, but it is the case right now. But it does have the nice stitching on there, but it's a garbage weight belt. And then for interchangeable hands, we do get the beautiful mic holding hands, and the taped hand on the right has a white peg, so that's a good detail. You also get fisted hands with the same white peg, so this is good. You get fisted hands, mic holding hands, and his like throne sitting style praying clasping slash like entrance hands where he comes out and he's got his hands or, you know, arms wide open and he's like, let's freaking go. So, you know, you get those as well. But that does it for Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition Accessories. All right, man, so getting into Cody Rhodes himself, starting out at the head sculpt. This one's my favorite head sculpt, so I'm going to leave this one on there. I just want to change it up from the Elite 101 and the screaming one. I don't know. I don't want him screaming at me all the damn time. You know what I mean? But once I get another Defining Moments, I'll probably put that one on there. But I may leave this one, you know, just to change it up a bit. But head sculpt does sit well on the neck. I think right here, if you were not to look at the... If you were to not look at the rest of the figure from this angle right here, you, I think you'd be like, oh, damn, that looks pretty good. But if we go down into the torso, man, this torso selection, I mean, for the time, I think it's accurate, you know? I think at certain angles, it's very weird because at certain angles, I think it looks amazing. And then at certain angles, I'm like, damn, that looks weird or wonky. And I can see where people would say that. Dream tattoo looks very clean here. We do have the continued neck tattoo here. And are you, what in the hell is that? Not, not the jawline. Yeah, the jawline's weird because when you do this, I'm talking about this. Bro, look at my neck tattoo, bro. Oh, oh, why? Why does this happen? Oh, what a bummer. Damn, that sucks. I mean, I guess you're not gonna be, like, right there up on the tattoo, but I'm gonna know that's there. It just looks- it looks like the- the- the skull was, like, meshed together there. Yeah. I hope my- I hope mine is just messed up, and everybody else's is super clean. God, I pray that's true. Forgetting about the tattoo for just a moment, because that bums the hell out of me. I think that this upper torso just looks strange on this, but, I mean, it was pretty accurate to WrestleMania, man. It was pretty accurate to what he looked like. Probably the most realistic style choice because at certain angles this torso looks good and then certain angles it just looks dumb but we already took a look at the hands here is the tights the tights are not accurate gold color this is more of like a honey mustard style and it's not that i hate the gear like it's still not bad gear i like the deco and everything going on that we have here it's just not accurate and that's that's point blank it's not accurate to the gold color but i do like the color it's like a honey mustard yellow but it doesn't look bad on the figure it's just not accurate and so yeah, I definitely want it to be accurate. I mean, this is like his return defining style moment. WrestleMania 38 comes out, beats Seth Rollins. It doesn't have knee pads like it was shown off before. And then he does have these new boots here, which do have, or they're not new boots. They do have this, uh, this foot mold. I don't know if this is the Ultimate Warrior foot mold or what, but he does have the white boots with toe articulation. Now, something about this figure is that it feels really good in hand. You, you know, none of us really care for, I, I'm not gonna say none of us. Some of us don't like the Ultimate Edition torsos. Like, aesthetically, sometimes they can look odd. Like, you could see, like, like, at certain angles, it looks weird, but then at certain angles, it looks good. It's just very odd here, but he does have the diaphragm and all that, you know. It's got the Ultimate Edition articulation, so he can do all the different poses you need him to do. I will say his legs feel really good in the hand. He feels immaculate in hand, which is always a big plus for me. But there are so many things that I'm just on the fence about, or, I, or I'm or i bummed out about. And so, I don't know, I, I, I just feel like I'm disappointed with it, I guess. I'm not as, like, enthralled with it as I thought I would be once I got it in hand. You know, looking at it at the Superstore and the coat... I was like, oh man, that looks beautiful. And then, I don't know, having it in hand, it doesn't hit quite like it was. And then the neck tattoo, dead gum, son. Ah. But figure feels immaculate in hand. That is something I can say. So if you guys kind of base your opinion on a figure or you listen to me and you say, you know, every time he says a figure feels good in hand, I trust it. That is this figure. This figure does feel good in hand. You could easily, I guess, swap the torso if you don't like it. But let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparisons because we have a lot of those to do so in this video. Now for our first Cody Rhodes comparison, we do have the Ultimate Edition Mattel figure of up next to the Elite 101, and you guys can see that he is slightly taller here, and Cody Rhodes is 6'2", and so I guess the Ultimate's probably more accurate, but I guess it's just that torso choice, man. I don't know what torso you could really put on there that would make him shorter. I mean, maybe the Rick Rude torso, but then your tan's gonna be way off. Maybe they could do a Finn Balor Ultimate Edition in the right skin tone, like this style skin tone, and then you could put that on there. I'm definitely gonna see what I can do, maybe put some decals on it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that, but like, I love this 
this release by Mattel. I think it's a beautiful figure. Not a big fan of the head sculpt, but I do like overall like the Cody Rhodes formula that they use here. It feels really good in hand, like I said. And he also does have the drop down hips, but I'm finding that the right one goes down better than the left one. But he does have the drop down hips. It's just not as they're not getting loose on me. So I guess that's bonus here. But I don't know that that is your elite figure comparison. But now let's get into some other Cody Rhodes figure comparison. For another figure comparison, here's the Ultimate Edition Cody up next to the Unrivaled Series One Brandy, and these look pretty good up next to each other. I'd say I think they scale pretty well here. If you get, I know she has those gigantic heels on, but if you put the elite in here, I don't know how tall Brandy is, but I feel like they look pretty decent up next to each other here. If you wanted to pose those guys around, put them in your setups or your displays, I think you could get away with it here. So Cody and Brandy look pretty good. If you guys wanted to see that, there is your comparison for Brandy. And then here is our massive AEW Jazzwares collection of Cody's, and I haven't got into the suited ones, of course. We're gonna we're gonna spend time with those as well and do a comparison. But here's the Ultimate Edition Cody up next to the Supreme Collection in the coat and without the coat. And not only is it the regular version without the coat, but it's also the Walmart version without the coat with the different gears. And then we also have the Ringside Exclusive TNT Champion Cody, the Unrivaled Series 4 Cody, the Unrivaled Series 1 Cody, and then we have the UK... AEW Ring Cody, and then we have the AEW Unrivaled Series 1B Cody that is right here, and then I have the Blood and Guts over there as well. So, actually, go ahead, let, let me just go ahead and grab it. So, there you go. You complete the Jazzwares collection there, not including the suited figures, which we'll get into in a moment, but I do want to get in the weeds here and check out the Supreme Collection up next to the Ultimate Edition. But I am a Cody fan. I love Cody Rhodes. I, I, I love him a lot. Loved him in AEW. Loved him in his first WWE run. Love him here. I think he's done a great job of establishing himself, and you're really getting like a lot of contrast here between both companies, man. You're getting a lot of differences and I think that's really awesome. Compare and see which one, you know, may be better and I feel like they're so close that it's crazy. So here's the Ultimate up next to the Supreme. I think this is the Walmart version here. I do have the Supreme here in the coat, but I'll compare these two when they have the coat on or I guess I could like pop the coat arms off and go ahead and switch it over and that way we can get a better comparison of the Supreme Series 1 up next to the Ultimate Edition. So here is pretty much the Supreme Series 1 up next to the Ultimate Edition and I feel like this one probably catches the leanness better than this like bulky style torso but I feel like Mattel's quality probably is a little bit better here. I'm not getting the looseness that I'm getting on this one you know. I feel like the Supreme has a little bit looser of joints and stuff like that compared to the Mattel. He also has like probably a little bit more of a gray skin tone compared to the Mattel here and it is a little bit taller there as you can see but I don't know man it's just choose your own version you know and that's why I got both because I, I love Cody Rhodes and I love both figures and I like the way that both of them look here but I do love the ab crunch and the stuff you get out of the Supreme here but anybody that has the Supremes also know that the lower legs do get loose on you but I still do really enjoy the Supremes but I am enjoying the this ultimate Cody I just am a little bit disappointed in the way he is aesthetically especially with my bummy tattoo right there man that does bum me out but it is really awesome to see these up next to each other but now I want to put on the coats and see what the Supreme looks like with his coat on versus the Ultimate with his coat on. So here they are up next to each other in their coats. And I will say the Mattel one definitely looks long here. And it looks a bit baggy compared to, like, obviously the sculpted version probably, like, takes it away. Just, I love how slim it looks. And while this is cloth, I said that's kind of mind-blowing that this looks so slim. But I guess it's also the torso that, you know, the Mattel one has. But these look amazing up next to each other. I'm so glad that we have both versions here. And I kind of want to try and put these arms on there but I want to know down below which one you guys like better overall compared to what you're seeing here I know a lot of people don't have this version of Cody in their hands just yet but I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below about the jacket comparison and stuff like that I just don't like how baggy the Mattel one looks and I god man it doesn't it's not blowing me away the way I thought it would and maybe that's my fault for setting up expectations but I still like the figure it's just it's not blowing me away like I thought it would but I'm gonna try and put this jacket onto the ultimate edition somehow all right so here here is the Ultimate Edition with the Supreme Coat on there, and the arms are not fully stuck in there, but you can kind of, it's enough to tell what you can get from Mattel if they do sculpt the jacket and the arms on there, and this is looking damn good. I love how we have, you know, the best of both worlds here, so, you know, you can mix those together, and then you could put the Mattel jacket on the Supreme if you wanted to, but it's probably going to swallow it. If it already is kind of big on the on the Ultimate Edition from Mattel, it's probably going to swallow the smaller figure in the Jazzwares, but this is a damn cool look right here. See, the arms are loose here like they're gonna fall out but you could uh you could put it on the shelf like this right i mean or figure photography you can make that work you know you couldn't fully play with it but 
And I think you can get the job done. And then for another Cody Rhodes figure comparison, here is the suited figures that we have so far. You have the Unmatched Series 4, the Unmatched Series 4 Chase, and then you have this custom Ultimate Warrior Legends Elite with a Cody Rhodes head sculpt on there. And now we can actually put an official Mattel head sculpt on there, and I kind of want to do that right now. Just so we can see if you guys wanted to put this smiley head sculpt onto this body. And now he has no neck, so that really doesn't work for me, and that looks odd, so... Hmm. And then if you guys wanted to see the Ultimate Edition smiling head sculpt on the Elite 101, here's what it looks like, and it looks damn good. I'm actually digging this a whole lot, so that's pretty badass. That looks clean as hell, especially when the tattoo's not messed up on the neck. And then for your four Mega Star Ultimate Edition comparison, here is the Cody Rhodes up next to the Ultimate Edition Series 16 AJ Styles, Ultimate Edition Series 17 Seth Rollins, and the Ultimate Edition Series 14 Roman Reigns. Or maybe it's 13. Who gives a damn? But I think these scale pretty well. You know, I wanted to see what these look like up next to each other. Seth and Cody are pretty much the same height, so I think that that works there and Cody compares to AJ really well and that's a feud I'd like to see by God but yeah, that does it for your Cody Rhodes figure comparison. But I think it pretty much wraps up our Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes action figure review, man. And I'm going to be real with you, I am disappointed in the figure overall. It's not hitting me like I thought it would. I do like a lot of aspects of the figure, and I'm going to run them down right quick. Things I like about the figure, I do like the screaming head sculpt. I think it does look slightly better than the Supreme one did. I wish the straight face had the defining moments head sculpt that looks incredible, but it doesn't, unfortunately. It does have the weight belt issue, which you could swap a jazz wears one on there, but, you know, we shouldn't have to do that. They're not going to fix the weight belt anytime soon, which is really annoying, but I guess we can continue to use the Jazz Wears belts if we have to. And I figured he could finish the story here in the review since he couldn't do so in real life. The gold on this pants is absolutely not accurate. It's like a flat, honey mustard, glistening style color instead of the metallic gold that we've seen on previous figures before, like gold dust and things of the past. We have seen the gold that he did wear before. I don't know about, like, a complete figure, but I know we've seen so, like, maybe in the retro line we've seen it. Maybe on the Elite 46 7B gold dust figure if you guys remember that one I think we might have seen that gold before but yeah this this gear is yeah this is more like a honey mustard style color and I guess it doesn't look bad but it's definitely not accurate it's most definitely not accurate even though you know it's not like a bad gear or anything it's just not accurate to his WrestleMania 38 return. And that's actually a really big deal because this was such a big deal. You could have included this in the Defining Moments line, but we got it here. I like the boots. The figure feels really damn good in hand, I'll say that much. I think it feels really, really good in hand. Very poseable. I think that's probably my favorite part of the figure is how poseable it is and how good and how good it feels in hand. The freaking neck tattoo being messed up and like pushed together really pisses me off, man. That That is just almost unforgivable. Oh my god. I don't know if it's because that's where they put it. I'm sure that's because of the neck, like the neck tattoo location. And we've said, we've talked about it at nauseum on the channel about the head sculpts, including the crowns of the tattoo on his jawline. I can't stand that either. I just don't think that's a good aesthetic design choice because when he moves his head, it's obviously going to be messed up. And we've discussed that on the channel with his other elite and talked about that. Still, I'm, I'm going to acetone off the jawline tattoo. And I don't know if I like this torso. I think at certain angles, it definitely looks bulky and it looks off-putting. But then, like, right here, I don't think it looks bad. Like, staring at it from this angle. And I think if you were to pose him around in the ring and get him going, I don't think you would really notice it that much. But I have seen other photos and different stuff that makes it look a bit wonky. But this figure definitely disappoints me. But not to, like, a Luchasaurus level. Not to a Elite 70 Finn Balor level or something like that. I think this has enough meat on the bone for me to enjoy it. And I really like the jacket. I think it may be a little bit oversized, but I do like the... I don't know if I like the cloth version or the hard version that the Supreme did because they're completely different, but I think you can get away with both. I like the sculpted pieces they added to the jacket. I like the deco on the jacket, and I'm, you guys know that I love cloth goods. I'd rather have this cloth goods jacket that may not have all the details sculpted on it rather than have an imposable straight jacket style jacket. So, And I know the Supreme has articulation, so that, that so the Supreme has articulation with the arms, so it's not even in that company. But overall, I like the figure, but I am disappointed in it. Most definitely disappointed in it. There are a lot of things on here. I don't know if the figure was rushed. I don't know if they fast-tracked it. You know, those are things that are beyond me. I have no idea about that. Maybe that's something we can ask at a later date. But I was looking forward to this figure a whole lot, and I am glad to have it, and I... Do want to give another huge shout out to Mattel and Mattel Creations for sending this figure out to review for you guys. Because whether I enjoy a figure or not, or whether it's amazing or not, I always love making videos about action figures to show to you guys. So, even when we review Trash Corbin, I'm enjoying the process of reviewing that Trash Corbin, you know what I mean? 
So I do enjoy, I enjoy every single review we make because I just like making videos. But sometimes we get some stinkers through the door. And sometimes we get some figures through here that definitely disappoint me. And this Cody Rhodes is a disappointment in some ways. But I also like it. So there's that. If you're thinking about getting this on the aftermarket, I have no idea where the market's at right now. I know when people get it in hand, it's going to skyrocket in price. I hope that it's not overly absurd. For the people that really want this thing, they can track it down. But I think that is going to wrap up my Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations exclusive. American Nightmare Cody Rhodes figure review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I would love to know what your thoughts are down below. Do you think the torso's too bulky? What do you think about the gold color? It's definitely not accurate. Definitely not a gold, uh, an accurate gold color. They removed the knee pads, which may have been the right move. Now that I see it, I, I feel like that might have been the way to go. But I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave me all your thoughts down there and discuss amongst yourselves. But I'm getting out of here, man. A huge shout out to our patrons over there on the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys so very much. If you guys are interested in becoming patrons of the MDT Patreon and YouTube channels, definitely click the link in the description below. Check out all the perks and different stuff you can get in on. Love every single one of those guys. And for all of you for checking out the video and the review, man. Leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We